Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome. Um, new video. Uh, this video will be informational uh, for once again. Uh, it's, it's been a long time since I've posted a real informational or tutorial video. Uh, I believe the last one was about movement techniques with my uh, guest Midmar. And yeah, then we had uh, a few update videos. And we had uh, the snow ghillie suit video, but that wasn't really a tutorial. I really wanted to review the suit, but I kind of, yeah, forgot <laughs> I had filmed it, but the material was so crappy. So, yeah, I could make a really crappy video out of it, but I just decided not to. So maybe I'll uh, review it later on, just in the summer here. So you guys still know how I uh, made it. And uh, so yeah, that's uh, the snow ghillie suit. And yeah, after that, I posted a video to a Minecraft channel. Um, I believe that was my last video. So um, today we'll be talking about uh, the five things for blending for a camouflage, uh, which are yeah five uh, key things you have to keep in mind if you want to blend in with your environment. And yeah. I'll be talking about those five things right now. <laughs> so uh, enjoy the video. Okay, welcome to this instructional video. In this video, I will be explaining uh, the five key things to camouflage, to blending. And the first one is shape. Uh, your shape is very important uh, for blending because uh, that's actually why we wear the ghillie suit. You can see uh, what the ghillie does, it breaks up the human shape. And if you were to put off your ghillie and regain your uh, normal human form, you would be able to clearly see uh, the head area here and the shoulders. And this really sticks out when you're uh, uh, yeah, overlooking an uh, objective, a certain area when you're spotting. Uh, yeah, the head and the shoulders will stick out and the arms. Um, the legs, everything that looks that looks like a human body uh, when you're spotting is probably a human body. So that's why we wear the ghillie suit. Let me find my little rope here. There it is. And so when we wear the ghillie suit, um, I made a little drawing in my uh, very first snow ghillie suit video. I drew a, a quick example in the snow. Uh, I'll post a little picture over here so you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, that's your shape. Also, uh, yeah, the ghillie creates irregular shapes. Um, yeah, kind of curly like the leaves and stuff on the ground, as you can see. Um, yeah, there's nothing else much about um, shape to tell you guys. So let's uh, jump to the next subject. Second one, shine. As you can see, uh, got a little watch here. It sticks out a lot. It's important you don't wear any shiny, uh, light-colored uh, watches when you're in the battlefield because, trust me, it will give your position away. Uh, the sun will flare against to it and. Uh, yeah, it will give away your position and scope lenses. I covered my one up with, uh, as you can see, a net scarf. Um, I think it still flares a bit. You can use, uh, I don't know, panty, panty hoses. I don't know if that's the correct translation for it. Uh, to cover up your lens, it will prevent any uh, um, yeah, flares that come up come off your lens on the front. So, um, let's shine. Third one, shadow. As you can see, I'm standing in the shadow right now and I'm one big black blur. If I step out of the shadow, um, come back some maybe over here. Yeah, you can see, uh, I regain a bit more, yeah, human resemblance. Um, so when you're hiding, uh, be sure you stick to the shadows. Because trust me, if you're hiding in the shadows and you're very low to the ground, you'll be one black blur and your blend will even be 
way better than if you're hiding in the sun with a perfectly good ghillie. And also, when you're uh, on the move, Let's see if we can cast any shadows on the ground here. So you can see, uh, camera tripod over here, and my own shadow. It's important that when you're on the move, uh, you notice where your shadows are. So that when you're uh, even being sneaky behind some kind of cover, uh, the sun won't cast a shadow uh, away from that cover, so people uh, will still notice the movement from your shadow, but won't be able to see your uh, yourself. So I hope that's clear to you. And if you don't understand, uh, just post it in the comments below. And yeah, that's what I have to talk about for you. Uh, Jesus, sorry for my bad English. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, if any questions, just post them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. And we'll move on to the fourth one. Uh, yeah. Number four, silhouette. It's important that when you're lying down, when you're searching for a place to hide, uh, it's important you don't hide on top of a hill because you will be outlining yourself. You'll be creating a silhouette that's easy to pick up for the human eye. Uh, instead of a really smooth flat, uh, flat hilltop, you'll see a smooth flat hilltop with a little bump on top of it. And yeah, that attracts, that attracts the attention of the human eye. Um, so yeah, be sure if you're hiding, you hide against uh, the surface of the, of the little hill or behind it in some kind of cave-in. So you'll uh, be perfecting the flat top of the, the hill. Um, yeah, maybe you were able to see the shadow under my hood uh, when I was lying down. Also be sure that um, yeah, you cover up the shadow that's, that's created... Uh, yeah, buy any hat or boonie hat or whatever you're wearing. Uh, you usually have a little face veil cover on here, uh, on front here, where I can look through. And uh, yeah, that will prevent any shadow from my little boonie hat. Uh, yeah. The fifth one is spacing. Uh, when you're on the move with a team, or with multiple team members it's important you keep uh, a certain amount of space between each other when you're uh, tactically moving through the area and this is because if you get spotted one gets spotted and the other team is a bit behind there's only one spotted and the enemy is not aware of the other team that's probably still behind cover so you'll still have a little bit of a surprise effect when you're moving uh, with the spacing uh, in between your team members. It's a minimal of 10 meters uh, between each team member so when you're moving behind cover and the first team member leaves the cover and is spotted by the enemy the, uh, the rest of the team that's still behind the cover uh, is still hidden and the enemy, enemy is unaware of that position like I said before. And there is a frog crawling here in my feet. So, um, those were the five main things I wanted to talk about for blending. Uh, just keep that in mind once again there. Uh, shape, shine, shadow, silhouette and spacing. Shape. Remember your, uh, to break up the human shape. That's what the ghillie is for. Shine. Don't wear any reflecting objects. Cover up your rifles. Um, everything that shines, uh, leave it at home or just spray paint it. it camouflage it. I don't know what you want to do with it. Shadow. It's important to. Uh, it's important that when you're hiding, you stick to the shadows, and when you're on the move, you don't cast any unnecessary shadows on the ground that will also give away your position. Silhouette or outline, if you want to call it. Don't really don't go lie on top of hilltops because you'll outline yourself, and yeah, it's not really to say anything more about it. Uh, yeah, outlining is the most dumb thing a sniper could do. 
and yeah just hide against the hillside or maybe in some kind of cave in uh, but definitely not way on the hilltop because you'll be spotted like that and it's game over for you and of course the last one spacing I just talked about be sure to keep a certain amount of uh, space between your team members uh, just for safety not only for yourself but also for the rest of your team so um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something from it and I'll see you guys um, yeah, the next time we got a, a little special special bleh, special plan for you guys um, there are lawnmower races every year uh, at the start of spring which is nearby and I'll be uh, visiting those with my ghillie suit of course and let's see how close we can get because it's a major event here and uh, lots of people go there and there's a little little bush uh, yeah forest that lies against uh, the event area so um, gonna see how close I can get which is uh, on the 1st of April so you can uh, expect a video then so uh, once again thanks for watching I hope you learned something from it if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I always read them and always answer them um, yeah that's what I have to tell you guys uh, have a great weekend and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video bye